No fooling. It's April 1st, and it's time for the Monday Memo. It's great to have you with us. I'm Pastor David Glesney, Senior Pastor here at St. John's Lutheran Church of Bloomington, Illinois. A couple of announcements, announcements I'd like to bring uh, to your attention coming up. This week we have, of course, our midweek uh, Lenten worship service at 6.30. Can't wait to see where Mary is going to be showing us where God is on the move this week uh, and see what guests she brings along for that as well. I'm looking forward to that as well as Holden Evening Prayer. And we will learn a little bit about prayer this Wednesday as well. Also coming up this Sunday, uh, we're having our first communion classes for those in 4th through 7th grade who have not yet taken the class along with a parent. Uh, we encourage you to join us for that. If you have any questions, you can find out more about that on the St. John website as well. Coming up is Holy Week. Lots of opportunities. The prayer room will be open during Holy Week. You can sign up for your times now, and we encourage you to do that. Uh, also, we're looking for some help uh, for a couple of different things. I know two things in particular I'd like to bring to your attention today. The first is for the vigil on Saturday night before Easter morning. Uh, it's going to be a shortened vigil, but we have a lot of participation. It's uh, an interesting time. We start outside with a new fire. We walk inside with candlelight. Uh, we hear the, the story of God's salvation and that ends with this great um, tale of the resurrection. So we invite you to join us for that. We'd lead, like I said, I could use about seven readers for that. If you can sign up, you can email me at dglesney at stjohnsbloomington.org. That would be great. Or you can give me a call here at church. That works too. Also, Easter breakfast. We're looking for some folks. Lots of different shifts and different possibilities to help out there. None of them are really long, so you can enjoy your morning, come to worship, enjoy your family, and serve uh, all at the same time. So call Goodrun about that. Also, we're looking for uh, some home-baked goodies uh, for our continental breakfast. Coming up, the date to keep on your calendar is May 1st, one month from now, where we will be taking a look at the ministry future of St. John's and what some of the details and the planning and the facilities and maintenance. And, and while it may not seem glamorous, this is about our future together, and this is what we do together. So please spend some time. We encourage you highly. Families of all ages are encouraged to attend this event as we have conversation about where God is calling us to embrace and equip people moving into the future. Um, let's see here. Also, last but not least, our Lenten uh, collection for this week is toiletries, bar soap, uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes, that kind of stuff. Uh, collect those in our uh, space there uh, between services, and uh, you can bring them anytime, actually, but that works out pretty well on Sundays. Speaking of Sunday, and Saturday for that matter too, we'll be taking a little detour over the Gospel of John. We've been in Luke for a good chunk of time, but John has a unique story here about Jesus being anointed for his burial, and it comes from the 12th chapter of John, the first verse. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave him a dinner. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with a fragrance of perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii, and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, he had kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus, Jesus said, Leave her alone. She, brought it, she bought it so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. Interesting lesson. Judas seems to be almost practical there for a while. You can hear him saying, Why do we need to spend money on this? We could have used it for something else. But as we know, in Judas's case in particular, not for all people's cases, but Judas, he had an alternative motive. His agenda, well, his agenda wasn't where God was on the move. His agenda was Judas, as it turned out. Mary, on the other hand, seems to get it. She seems to see where God is on the move and what God is up to. And she is pouring out all that she has in this moment for God and for this mission so that God may move beyond our relationships, beyond our time and place, to embrace all people in his grace and mercy. Will you pray with me? God of extravagant love, we give you thanks for the gifts that you give to us to share in ministry and in worship.
for those that we get to share with the poor. Keep us ever mindful that you are with us, guide us, and strengthen us in ministry, and fulfill us and fill us with your mercy and grace. And we ask these things and whatever else you see that we need. In Jesus' name, amen. It was great to have you with us again. Once again, please stop by St. John's, give us a call, come to worship, take a look at our website, find out more about what God is up to here at St. John's, and we'd love to have you join us for that too. God bless. Have a fantastic week.